We begin tonight at Tim Hortons Field, where the Hamilton Tiger Cats faced off against the Toronto Argonauts in the Labor Day Classic. Joining us live down in the stadium are Jason Guidol and Louis Butko with more. Louis, this was a tough one for the Tiger Cats and their fans. Yeah, a day, Adam, that started out with so much promise here at Tim Hortons Field. Uh, the gates opened at 11 a.m. The parking lots opened at 6 a.m. There was a lot of excitement uh, when it came to the game. But as for the game itself, uh, not what the Thai Cats or their fans were hoping for. And uh, Jason was able to catch up, catch up with fans as they were going in and as they were coming out. Jason. Yeah, that's right, Louie. And Taika fans always want to see a win on Labor Day, but particularly this season, they really felt that they needed to see a, a must win. They needed a statement win today at this point of time because they really feel, feel like the team is at a crossroads. Taika fans rush out of the gates of Tim Hortons Field with the feeling of disappointment in what they deemed as a must win game on Labor Day. One offensive point. One. Right, we got eight points, eight of them were by defense. That, that's just brutal. They didn't play well. Offense, eight points, but mind you, the defense got the touchdown. Offense can't move the ball. Same same story every game. They should have put Evans in 100%. I don't understand. You pay the man, you bring him in from the beginning, from last year and the year before. But unfortunately, there's a big transition period right now, and uh, it is what it is. In a 28-8 loss against arch rivals of the Toronto Argonauts, Tabby fans say they're less confident the Ticats will make a run into the postseason. Ever since Tim Hortons Field opened up back in 2014, the Hamilton Tiger Cats have won all seven Labor Day Classics. Last week, head coach Orlando Steinauer shut down the idea of Monday's game being a must win. Are we eliminated if we lose this game? No. Okay, not. so that's not a must win game to me. Okay. And while diehard fans got on with their usual tailgating rituals, <laughs> under the celebratory feeling are concerns of a season at the crossroads. I think we have like five second half meltdowns. We're lucky we're in the East or else it'd be over. We can't seem to muster any kind of momentum. Like we play half, we always play half a game. We never play. 60 minutes of football. How do you go to the Grey Cup? You got to have a good team to get there, and then you wind up being three and eight. But it's just something missing. Uh, I don't know if it's a play calling, the offensive coordinator. But enough hope to believe in a late season surge. You know, it's a different game every week, and we just have to keep rooting for them. They need the fan support now more than ever. We're not giving up. Where we feel once you make the playoffs, it's the only place in professional sport where you just make the playoffs and then it's any given Sunday. We live in hope, just like myself. So I'm hoping we can pull it off and make the playoffs and maybe make the Great Cup. Well, there are six games left remaining for the Hamilton Tiger Cats. Three of the opponents are against tough Western Division opponents. As for today, again, this is the first Labor Day Classic loss the Tiger, Hack Tiger Cats have faced since Tim Hortons Field has opened up. And Louie will have the full highlights later on in the show.